Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel. It seems like we have a lot to be concerned about right now. Things like inflation, social strife, and wars have had everybody on edge for a while, and things really don't seem to be improving all that much. But there's one threat that doesn't seem to be getting the attention that it deserves. This could have serious consequences in pretty much every aspect of our lives. Everything from our jobs to our physical security could be threatened. And if it reaches a certain point, there won't be anything that we can do to stop it. And what I'm talking about is artificial intelligence. And while it does have the potential to be used for good things, and it is being used for good things right now, there are some very good reasons why we should tread carefully when exploring this new technology. Now, when people think about the dangers of AI, one of the first places that their mind goes is some world-ending disaster caused by a computer system becoming self-aware and wiping all of us out, like Skynet and the Terminator movies. And while that could possibly happen sometime down the line, at least in the short term, AI is going to affect us in different ways. They may not necessarily be apocalyptic, but they could be pretty serious and one of them is job loss. Modern computers and robotics have already made numerous jobs obsolete, especially in factories and warehouses. And while these systems have created new jobs, those require completely different skills than the ones that they've replaced, and that makes life very difficult for the people who used to work in those positions. And as artificial intelligence becomes more advanced, it's going to start being able to do more and more jobs that people do now. Things like bookkeeping are very much in the wheelhouse of AI's capabilities, and many companies already use AI for their accounting. Artificial intelligence is also going to take over other roles in things like customer service, and that's scary whether you work in that field or not, because if you're anything like me, you absolutely despise being on, you know, the little automated call system that I mean, quite frankly, they're horrible. I don't know how much time I've spent screaming into my phone, Speak to representative! Speak to representative! And that's really just going to get worse. And we're also at the point where AI can perform even artistic tasks. You can even see that on YouTube. There's some creators out there that are starting to use AI-generated images in their videos. AI can also edit pictures, and some of those look as good as if a professional did them. And even the Hollywood writer's strike that's going on right now is partially due to fears of artificial intelligence taking over people's jobs. But there are positions that aren't as susceptible to job loss, at least for a while, and many of these are in the trades. We currently don't have robotics that can crawl under someone's sink and repair a leaky pipe. So people like plumbers, electricians, and HVAC technicians are pretty safe, and those jobs also pay well. Another danger of artificial intelligence is that it makes us more vulnerable to manipulation and thought control. We've already seen in the past few years how fraudulent information can be used to manipulate people socially and politically. And as those kinds of technologies improve, it's going to be more prevalent, and it's also going to be harder to detect. Even video evidence needs to be scrutinized because of deep fakes. The same technology that's used to, say, make it look like a dead actor's in a modern movie also makes it possible to create fake video footage that's very convincing and can easily fool people. Search engines are another place where artificial intelligence can be used to manipulate folks. And chatbots are only going to make this problem worse. Quora is using ChatGPT to answer certain questions, and the answers that systems like these provide are based off the information that's put into them, and it could be biased. And while that is convenient, a big problem with it is that most people are only going to use that as their source of information. They're not going to dig deeper and do research. They're just going to type it in, see that the chatbot gave them an answer, and they're going to be like, oh, well, that's that's the truth, and it may not be. It could be flat out wrong. Privacy is another area where artificial intelligence can cause significant problems. If you've ever sat down in your car, turn on the engine, and notice that your phone is giving you suggested directions, those were generated by artificial intelligence. And while it is nice to have a general idea of how long it's going to take you to, say, get to work based on current traffic conditions, it is a little bit scary that your phone knows your behavior patterns that well. And I've only seen this become more advanced. In addition to knowing my daily routines, where I go first when I turn on my truck, it also knows the exact restaurant that, I, that my family and I tend to go to on Sunday after church. And the problem with that is, is that if your phone knows your behavior patterns that well, then so does anybody who has access to that information. And people say it's secure, but my assumption is 
is that people are liars until they're proven not to be. Banks also use AI to help determine which of your purchases are legitimate and which are fraudulent. And having that capability actually did help me out a few weeks ago. Somebody tried to make $700 in fraudulent charges using my debit card info they somehow got a hold of. But the bank detected it, they stopped it, canceled my debit card, and sent me a new one within two days. However, by that same token, it also means that your bank and anyone that they share that information with knows exactly what you're spending your money on and how much. Another example of how our privacy is being threatened by AI is targeted ads. I think all of us have probably experienced something where we talk about maybe a product or a place that we want to visit, and then all of a sudden there are ads for what we were talking about next time that we log on to our computer, social media, whatever the case may be. And I've even experienced that on this platform. My wife's uncle was telling me about Cowboy Kent Rollins' new cookbook, and at the time, I don't think I'd ever even heard of him. But within a very short amount of time, his videos randomly started showing up in my video feed. If private companies can use that information, I find it ludicrous to think that governments couldn't as well to do things like create profiles on specific people or even groups of folks living in a certain area. If you've heard of social credit scores, then that becomes even more scary because companies like banks could use it to, say, determine if they want to give this person a loan for a mortgage or not because, well, we just don't think they have the values that are needed. They, they're good with their money, but there's other things. And also government agencies could use that information to target specific people for political purposes. So because of this, it wouldn't hurt to be very careful what you say around your phones, computers, or smart appliances like TVs have microphones built into them. If you want total privacy, you may need to resort to unplugging devices that use AC power and completely shut down things like computers, tablets, laptops, and place them in something like a Faraday bag. And while it would be best to just completely remove batteries from devices like these, that isn't really possible with some electronics nowadays. Another area that you should be very careful with is your internet history. Every question that you ask, every website that you visit, every interaction that you have on social media, is logged somewhere. And many people use VPNs to help give themselves at least some privacy, but whether those are effective or not is debatable. And while we probably aren't there quite yet, there is a chance that eventually artificial intelligence could cause an apocalypse by using our own weapons against us, and that could be either due to a malfunction or done intentionally. We've already seen situations where computer glitches have nearly had world-ending consequences. In 1983, a man named Stanislav Petrov was monitoring the Soviet early warning missile detection system when it started to go absolutely crazy. It showed that the U.S. had launched several missiles at the Soviet Union, but thankfully this guy knew that something felt a little bit off, so he didn't strike back. Now, if a computer had been in his place, that could have turned out very differently. However, recently there's been a situation where an autonomous drone made a decision to turn on the person operating it. Now, to be fair, the Air Force officially denies that this ever happened, but one of their colonels at a summit told a story about how a drone took out its own operator in a simulation. Now, once again, this was a simulation, so nobody was actually hurt. But the story goes that the operator withheld the kill order to take out a particular target. And since the AI system knew that it received points for taking out targets, it didn't like that. So it decided, yeah, I'll just take out the operator so I can do what I want. Well, they patched that by telling the AI that, no, no, that's bad. Don't do it. You'll lose more points for that. So I was like, oh, okay. All right. So in the next mission, it just decided to destroy the control tower used to send commands. And this isn't the first time that an artificial intelligence system seemed to develop a mind of its own. Earlier this year, the Bing chatbot shocked and horrified the tech world in kind of a hilarious way when it turned out to be an emotionally abusive and selfish jerk. It did things like argue with people when it was the one that's wrong, insult them, and even compare them to some of the worst despots in human history, and also showed fear of being shut down. And even though all of this is based off of input that was put into that system by people, it still is a little bit scary when you put all of it together. But one thing that a lot of people don't consider is what would happen if AI was combined with a quantum computing system? And I don't really want to go into what exactly quantum computing is and how it works, but the important thing is that it's fast. In fact, it's between 100 and 158 million times faster than the fastest supercomputer that we had at least in 2022. And if you were to combine a computer like that with artificial intelligence, then things could start changing very quickly. 
On the good side of things, it would be an absolute game changer for all kinds of research. Quantum simulations could be used to develop things like new medications, and it could also help with other things like space travel. So a decent, although ridiculous, example of this would be if you've seen the movie Avengers Endgame where Tony Stark runs simulations on this some supercomputer in his house to figure out time travel in like five minutes. Now, that's probably not something that it would be able to do, but the concept of running those kinds of advanced simulations are in quantum computing's wheelhouse. But on the other side of things, it would also be used by governments and hackers alike to defeat things like encryption systems, and that could cause serious security issues for financial institutions, critical infrastructure, and more. But when you combine artificial intelligence with such a fast and powerful computing system, that's when things can kind of get out of hand if we're not careful because it could learn and improve at a rate far beyond what we would be able to keep up with. It could do things like bypass safeguards that we built into the system or if we're trying to shut it down or fix the system, it could kind of think ahead of us and prevent those things from happening. That's when you could potentially have some sort of real life Skynet type situation. Now it is important to understand that quantum computing is still being developed and it's not really to that point yet, but artificial intelligence can rapidly improve itself even using just normal computers. Even if you go back as far as 1997, IBM's Deep Blue computer was able to defeat the reigning chess champion Garry Kasparov. And it is safe to say that computers have improved a lot in the past 26 years. And just in case you think that this is all being blown out of proportion, consider that some of our biggest tech leaders, people like Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak, recently wrote an open letter asking for basically there to be a six month halt on the training of advanced artificial intelligence systems. And a big reason they did this was to prevent the loss of control of our civilization. And what's really concerning these people is the fact that AI is advancing at a much faster rate than what people expected. Because we all know that humanity has a very bad tendency to rush headlong into things that we don't fully understand and sometimes it really doesn't have the best consequences. But even though artificial intelligence does present some significant dangers, we cannot abandon it completely. Because if we were to do that, it would create a vacuum of power that our adversaries would gladly fill. Enemy nations would do things like use it to advance their military technology beyond ours, and criminals would use it to do things like commit identity theft or hack larger institutions like banks. So the fact of the matter is that Pandora's box has already been open, and we're more or less just going to have to do the best that we can with it. These AI systems are a part of our lives, and they're going to only continue to become more prevalent. But doing things like continuing to be as self-sufficient as possible, being aware of threats to our privacy even within our own home, and being wise with our finances are some of the ways that we can be better prepared to deal with the downsides of this new technology. So if you want to see seven things that every prepper should have taken care of, go ahead and check out this video. And if you want to learn more about the ins and outs of stockpiling different things, then check this one out. Thank you all for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.